I landed in Vietnam 46 days after my college graduation from the University of Georgia on 24 July 1968. My assigned job was I was with the American Red Cross in the Supplemental Recreation Activities Overseas Program, which um, in spite of the Red Cross is not wanting us to be called Donut Dollies, that's what everybody called us. They thought it was a little bit cutesy and demeaning because we all had to have college degrees and we were all between the ages of 21 and 27. Well, we brought out candy and we brought out cookies and we brought out smiles and hugs and they were shocked. You know, they, several people have told it was like angels fell out of the sky because as they said, you had on bright blue dresses and you were smiling and you gave us big hugs and he said, you were so clean, you smell good and you made us forget about the war for just a little while. We're going to have your team A, team B, team C, you know, comp competing just to, just to give them some, some, a break either for 30 minutes or an hour or, you know, just chat the way we're chatting now. Troops would come in and read a book, read a newspaper, make a tape to send home, um, play cards. Mainly they came in to just talk to an American girl. And we always had Kool-Aid and cookies for them. Um, we flew forward in helicopters or um, occasionally in C-130s to go to bases, mostly fire bases on helicopters and landing zones where it was very remote. And there were just hundreds of guys on mountaintops and in valleys waiting for the day to pass. And we would just jump out of helicopters and make a whole, whole new day. And so with mobile units, we were on a chopper 6 o'clock in the morning to, and then come back all very tired and very worn out by the end of the day. But we still had to keep smiling. Morale was very low. And for them to be able to have a respite place to come, a touch of home, it was so important to them. Had to be the all-American girl, the wholesome girl, the approachable girl, not the girl who was looking for a husband or who wasn't at ease with herself. And we've always said, if you couldn't take a joke, this job's not for you. Well, the fellows were so appreciative that we were there and we didn't have to be there. Immediately when you say you served in Vietnam, people think in the military in uh, and you're a nurse, and I'm neither. I was a civilian recreation program director, and um, the gal who's kneeling is supposed to be the civilian woman. And Glenda Goodacre said that she is the heart and soul of the piece because she has the look of despair and frustration. Uh, the other two are doing something active. One of them's looking in the sky for the helicopter, the other one's holding the soldier, but the one who's kneeling is supposed to be us. We were feeling all the emotions of all of us who were there. And I think it would be a lasting thing forever to show that women have a big role in war without picking up a gun.